So, a Bristol GP is starting a campaign to discourage parents from giving their children unrestricted access to smartphones. Susie Davies is worried about the impact that social media is having on children's mental health. So, how many could be affected? Well, figures suggest 83% of children aged between 12 and 15 have their own phone. Almost all of them go online for around 21 hours a week, and three quarters have their own social media profile. Here's our social affairs correspondent, Fiona Lambden. Who has a smartphone here? How many of you use social media sites? These students have just started at secondary school. All of them spend part of their day on social media. When I get home, I just like to watch my phone or scroll through Instagram. <gasps> Thank you, Mum. Thank you, Dad. I love it. But a Bristol GP has set up a charity as she's worried about the amount of time children are spending on their phones. I've seen a massive increase in mental health problems in young adults over the past five years. And it just doesn't seem like a coincidence that these are the first generation of young adults to grow up with smartphones and social media. In the last three years, the number of children being referred for mental health treatment has shot up by a third. The evidence is beginning to trickle out. I would say it feels a little bit like in the 1950s when smoking had increased dramatically over the past 50 years and suddenly there was a huge amount of lung cancer around and people were questioning as to whether there was a link. And I think at that point you have to decide whether you shut your eyes and pretend it's not happening or do you open your eyes and do something about it. And some families already are. Uh, the phone needs to be placed in the kitchen every evening before you go to bed. The Westons have drawn up a contract with their son. If he breaks the agreement, he loses his phone. He would go on it for hours and hours if he could. If we didn't set sort of boundaries out to start with, you no know, arguments might happen. But if they know where they stand, I think it's going to be um, a lot easier. Back in the classroom, this secondary, like many, has now banned phones in school. But students uh, too often spend a long time looking at their phones, which is why at Hannam we've banned the phones from, from within in school uh, to encourage students to lift their heads, to have conversations, to, to answer in full sentences uh, and appreciate the world around them. But ask the children, and unsurprisingly, they weren't keen on restrictions. I was like, pretty annoyed because like, if they said that to me and then all the pe other people were like, speaking about like Fortnite or any other games or things that were like trending, I'd feel like kind of left out. This technology is still in its infancy, with schools, parents and children all learning to adapt. Fiona Lambden, BBC Points West.